Alrighty, here we go, everyone. 16,000 fans strong, Saitama Super Arena in the main arena configuration. K's Festa 2. We bring you, in the red corner, Kaito Ozawa, facing off against Hayato in the blue corner. As the two fighters get ready to touch gloves, I'm Brian. And I'm Phil. So it should be a good fight. Um, so, what can you tell us about the fighters, Brian? Well, we've got Kaito here, who has built his name in his rivalry with uh, Takeru. Very exciting. Ooh, Ooh big start for him. A lot of matchups between those two. Um, unfortunately, uh, Kaito on the losing end of those. And then in the featherweight tournament, losing out in the first round. So, fans are kind of wondering, oh, is this going to be the end of Kaito? But he moved over to Silver Wolf Gym. And this is his first fight with a new team, new style, so we might get some nice fresh looks here from Kaito. I'm hoping so. Ooh, big middle kick. Yeah, not middle, huh? <laughs> kick to the head. Yeah. Um, so he's fighting Southpaw. Okay. Yep. Hayato. We've got Hayato here. Um, he's actually not based out of Tokyo, but Tochigi Prefecture. Just to Gunma, where you and I uh, spent a lot of time. Yes, we did. <laughs> up in the mountains training, and our, uh, our gym, our coach, is located up there as well. Joshi Matsui Gym. So we've got Hato here training out of K1 uh, Gym Wolf in Tochi. He actually um, began his K1 career because he was a big fan of Masato. Oh wow, yeah, Masato. Uh, even I remember Ma Ma Masato when I first came to Japan. Oh yeah, great. Charismatic fighter there. Like we were talking about earlier. That's going to be the big uh, weapon for these guys when you have the southpaw orthodox matchup like this. Um, those rear hands and those rear leg strikes will be, will be the big deciding factors. Mm. Wow. Kaito moving well, moving real well. You know, and he's made his move to Civil War Wolf Gym. Um, some great trainers there. Ooh, ooh, Dai Guji. One of the trainers. Yeah, always, and Masato's former trainer. Oh, wow. Yeah, great game plan um, for Kaito. So I hope to see uh, big things from him after his move over there. Both fighters seem to be evenly matched. Both working the ring. Good movement. Circling each other. First round here, a bit of a feeling out process, for sure. Ooh! Very fast. Right straight down the pipe there from Hayato. Oh, a little bit of clinching. The ref's gonna break that up though. There is no clinching in K1. Can grab the kicks. Cannot clinch. Left hand there to end the round for Kaito. Yeah, both fighters seem to really want to fight. <laughs> they, yeah. are, they are going at each other. Um, but uh, I think the... Uh, an orth Ooh, nice kick to the head. Yep, that one snuck through. If you're, if you're in um, Kaito's corner here, Phil, what sort of advice would you give him in between rounds after a pretty good start to that first round? Yeah, it's a really good start. Um, it's hard to say, you know. Uh, he's he seems to be feeling comfortable, um, but look, maybe a little playing a little bit too loose. Mm. I would say um, maybe tighten up the game a little bit. Um, try to push forward a little bit. Mm. They both seem to be circling each other a lot. Um, True. You know, when they do go at each other, they so much things happen. But I would say, yeah, maybe put a little more pressure on him. You know, go forward and study to the side. No. But, you know, it's hard to say. I will say I like the way that he moved himself off the ropes. Uh, strategically. Oof. Yeah, good. Left 
kick ass and can you find it? The left kick is finding its mark upstairs. And that is a good sign from Hayat. Oh, the little clinch actually went oh spin back this speed. Seems like both fighters want the clinch. <laughs> but uh they know they can't do it. Well yeah, when you have this, you know, stylistically this southpaw and orthodox matchup like we do now, all of the angles, um, the distances are gonna be different than when you have um, you know, orthodox, orthodox or southpaw, southpaw. So we'll see who can make best use of those those rear rear leg and rear hand weapons and who can move to the outside of their opponent's front foot. Who can get to the outside? Because that, whoever controls that position is going to have the better um, leverage in these exchanges. Can you tell moving loose? There's a jam. I see what you mean about tightening up though and putting a little more pressure on. He's got to take advantage of those moments. Um, Counter when he can. Yeah. Ryan Toto is a slightly taller fighter here, so he's going to have a little more of a reach. That's right. He's going to take less of a step to get his weapon on, on the target. Now, if he can hit and move, create angles, and then set up another combo, if Kaito can do that, it's going to help negate a little bit of Ryan reach. And Hayato is landing some pretty good low kicks. Mm. Good tight little left hook on the inside there too. It's real nice to see a guy that um, is fighting at a high level, but not making the move to the big city in Tokyo. Still working out of uh, Tochigi Prefecture. Still making it happen on the local scene. That gives you know the, the younger guys coming up, people in those smaller towns. And uh, I think it's a bit of that grassroots feel that came on some. I think he moved to Tokyo for sparring and at the bigger gyms, but he's, he's making it happen out there in a rural, rural location. It's nice to see. Yeah, and he's uh, definitely paying testament to the fact that you can do it. Yep, making it to the big scene and compete with these guys. Get, get all the best of them. Oh, there's that left again. Wow, that thing is finding its home. Great. But he has, Sneaky left. Yeah, but he's amazing. I think most guys would have been on, been on their ass yep. after getting kicked like that. But uh, No doubt, man. Right Did not phase him. Oh, he, oh, yeah, he's just walking right through. Tough guy. Well, and having that granite chin like that is going to serve him well in his King One career. A good Japanese countryside. Rice or whatever they feed them. <laughs> That's right, yeah. That's right, yeah. Oh, oh Tochigi is famous for gyoza. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's well, and uh, they make out of the, the, the tofu there, yeah. Uh, yeah. Nope, well, I've made a couple trips over. I really enjoy that inside of Tokyo. You can see the Silver Wolf gym team there giving him advice. Yeah. But they're going to tell Kaito that he looked, looked good that round with that left high kick. If that thing can find its home just a little bit more, a little bit cleaner, he can put this thing away in the distance. You have to watch out for that, that, that kick. Let's see what happens. Last round. Both fathers look, looking very good. They don't look tired at all. And they've had a very active fight. Wow. Spinning back here. He's a tough guy, man. He is, he is just walking through shots to get inside. Wow, what an exchange happening right now. Wow, wow. This is... This is K1 action yeah, this right is, here. Yeah, this is K1 action. Definitely. Yep. You clinch it up. The ref's going to separate you. you got to go back to that. Back to that striking range. You can tell Kaito's got... Um, Great combos, and he's, he's able to change mid combination. He's moved with small adjustments, moving his head, Ooh. stepping to the outside, Oosh, but then he got caught in the corner there. That's where, uh, that's where he does not want to be. Yeah. 
Spinning back fist. Oh. Those palm ones you have to be careful because if, you, if they don't land, mm -hmm. you keep yourself wide open. Mm -hmm. Exactly, you're right. Especially this late in the fight, you get tired, your hands drop. Yep, bringing that head down below the waist. Just asking for uh, some knees and kicks from the opposition. Ooh, there goes that. Mm -hmm. And then another classic K1 style move there right after that left kick. Lead in with a straight left. Ooh, nice. Cracktail is great at just hanging in the pocket, making those small adjustments, watching his opponent, not flustered by. Oh, wow, amazing uppercut there. Really good. Watch out for that knee from the taller fighter. Both fighters are looking looking really good. Ooh. Cracktail's got to be careful. The knee's landing well, but if he just relies on it too much. Kaito's going to see that and counter him with a strike over the top. A great, great movement for Kaito. Yeah, yeah. himself get cornered again, getting out of there. Yeah, he's, That's where he does not want to be. He's, yeah, he's dominating the, the, the ring this round. Um, but uh, Kaito is landing more, more hits. And, ooh! Kaito will take a, a step to his left, which is not the side you typically want to go to, but he'll use that to get Hayato to step and adjust so that he can move himself back to the to the right side, that outside position of Hayato's front foot. That sets him up for that nice, sharp left straight. If he, he's got good, good footwork and he's got a great distance. <laughs> a little smile there from Kaito. Yeah, really nice, nice fight here. Hayato might have, might have good luck slowing down Kaito's feet with some more low kicks. Great, great fight. Excellent fighters. That's high pace. That's what K1's all about. Well, and Kaito's transition to, to the Civil War gym looks like a, it was a nice decision for him. When, of course, these guys are here at the K-Festa 2 event, this is where everyone wants to be. This is the big event of the year for K1. Saitama Super Arena, 16,000 fans, the big main arena configuration. You can tell by the, 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 the caliber of these fighters that mm. this is the event to be at. A lot of hard work and training. Phil, you were totally right. right. Well, and that's what the fans don't see, um, is all the work that goes into getting onto that K1 stage. Competing in the smaller leagues. Taking bumps and bruises in the gym with your teammates. Let's see what happens here. How the judges call this one. Wow. Oh wow, well, and here we go, right off the bat, the extension round. All the matches are contested, three minute, three rounds, three minutes each, but if you get, in the event of a draw like this, we get our three minute extension round. So can you tell us from a fighter's perspective, how does it feel to go? to go the extra mile, the, 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 the extra round. To go this what's, extra what, round. What, what's going through the fighter's heads right now? Well, you're right. Ideally, you want to be able to move in this round real confident. Um, whether you think you won the fight or not, you can't let that get into your head. You need to go into this next round because all that matters is who wins this round here. Um, oh, so the previous judgments. Are... Yep, previous rounds. No matter, you got to win this round. So you can't let any frustration, any anger at the judges get in your way here. You need to come out, and you need to come out uh, strong. You need to make a, a decision here. Now this is why it's exciting for the fans as well, because both these guys know whoever wins this next round wins this match. And it is such uh, a big event here that uh, no, neither of these guys can afford to lose this. Lose this. Okay, let's see what happens. Oof, yep, right, exactly. out, right out the gate. Yep. There they go. They want that win. You've got to make an impression, and it's got to be big. And Kaito seems to be controlling the middle of the ring now. Yeah, he's holding his ground more, less movement here. Looks like he's ready to stand and bang. Once again, here in this southpaw orthodox matchup, you look to see those big middle kicks, those big rear hands uh, unleashed. Oof. Both go. fighters evenly matched. Both have still have a ton of energy left. 
Yeah, great conditioning from both these guys. Wow, really nice following up. That left Ooh. hook and the mid kick from Hayato. Ooh, nice, nice knee to the body as well. Yep, he's finding his range here. What is Hayato going to do? He thinks his way. Both fighters have really good guards, and I think that's... Oh, oh, oh. Doubling up with the left hand. Beautiful with the step through. Really nice move from Kaito there. Mm. Punching right through his guard, though. Right down, the, right down the middle, as you mentioned before. When you have a fighter film, make it um, go into an extension arm like this. What do you, what do you usually tell him in the corner? As a corner man, um, do what works and take it easy. I think uh, a big, a big thing. Um, <laughs> a lot of fighters do it. They, they kind of get in their head a little bit. Mm -hmm. they, oops! Oh, because he's, he's got a cut from the head possibly. But I said, you know, just have to do, do it easy. Keep your, keep your rhythm. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Yeah, there we go. That's what we needed. Nice. Yep, got to stick to those basics. Yeah. You can't let those basics fall off in that extension round. I think you're absolutely right. Yeah, yeah he's happy now. He knows, but he don't get cocky. Yep. See, this is the danger zone. This is yep. what I would advise against. Right. However, for the, the fans love it, so it's a balance, right? Yep, yep. Fight to win, fight for the fans. What's it going to be? Which, uh, <laughs> Chief Kaito is smiling a little bit. Gonna ride his bicycle around the ring a little. He knows he did what he needed. He's got to hold on for 30 seconds. From the right, there's a cut. Ooh, Ooh. Wow. Whoa! Whoa. Oh. They like being on the ground there after that kick. Eats up time, too. Kaito's gonna try to rush in. And see if he can take, get it down himself. Oh. Hayato is, is, is bringing it. But I don't think there's enough time left in this round. But the time is just ticking away. And Kaito is smiling, Ooh. riding his bicycle around. And that's it. We did it. Yeah. That's in the fight. Great sport. Great sportsmanship. Yeah. Both fighters show a lot, showing a lot of respect, a lot of love. You are the, absolutely for the art. Right. Love the fighters in Japan. Love seeing the guys in the K1 ring after they fight. Doing the customary, giving them a drink of water, um, going to the other man's corner, getting a drink of water. Um, it's um, they're humble, mm. and they are vicious with their punches. Ooh, really nice, spectacular, spectacular. Kaito straight, yes. but, uh, he okay. delivered when he needed. That is what he needed, and he did it there. But uh, Hayato did an amazing fight as well. Yep. Uh, his, his, I, I want his draw because <laughs> yeah. nothing seemed to phase him except for the, that, that mm -hmm. final round. And he even got a, he sprung right back up after the fight. Yep. So. <laughs> he did, man. Well, it's great, great to, uh, great to cheer on those guys that are working out of those smaller areas in Japan. Tochigi, Gunma, bringing. Um, Bringing recognition to the sport all over, and really to the world. Yeah, because K1 is an international uh, that's right, stage, man. so this, this is, is great. This is the best kickboxing action you can catch. Let's watch a little bit of the action here. One, there! Yeah, that one, two. Ooh, sets it up with a nice check hook. Ba -ba Boom! Yeah. Mm, on his butt. And Hayato knows there. Ah. Ah, that is not... It's not what you want to do. No, no. Well, if you've been in the ring and you've been in that position, you know that is frustrating. Wow. Well, really great, great fight here at K1 Festa 2. These guys fight all year long to make it to this big event. It's sort of the WrestleMania of kickboxing. Wow. Here in Japan. The Saitama Super Arena, main arena. 16,000 fans. Amazing. Kaito having luck switching up teams, doing really well, executing the game plan. His team's got to be happy. And now he gets to take a little rest and move on to his next challenge. Hopefully we see him back. 
next year. Case Fest is case again. Case Fest the three. That's right. Well, I'm sure we will if he can, if he can stay. See with the momentum that he built today. Really nice performance. Well, there you have it. Case Festa 2, Saitama Super Arena's main arena.